Hey guys, what's up? I'm Zerhawk. And this video will be beginner tips for Escape from Tarkov, or rather, things I wish I knew when I started Escape from Tarkov. And if you've already started playing this game, you probably know that this game is very punishing, yet very, very rewarding. But for those of you who haven't played yet, it will be rough starting out. There are no tutorials, no UI, no nothing to help any new players out when they start this game, which is a big reason I'm making this video. It's not necessarily a tutorial or a step-by-step -step of what you need to do when you start out. It's more information to get the ball rolling. And hopefully this guide will help you get started on this game or just help you in general with this game. So getting started, you may notice you need to select between two factions, Bear and Usec. And this is the first thing I wish I knew. What, what's the difference? What will it change for me? Which one should I pick? The Bears are Russian, so they get more Russian gear like AKs, for example, and the Usecs are American. So they get M4s, for example. But that is purely starting gear. You will be able to use anything you get your hands on, whether you just find it or you buy it. Now, the biggest difference was with this wipe. Bears are a bit harder to play on the map Lighthouse because of the rogue USEX. They will target bears or anyone cute with bears a lot quicker than just normal USEX. It's still playable, but it is harder. Overall, it's personal preference. You will pretty much have the same exact experience whether you choose bear or USEX. There's also a drip to consider, but that's for you to decide. Now, after you've made your choice, this leads me into the gameplay tips. The very first thing you want to do on Escape from Tarkov, in my opinion, is go to the traders and examine every single item you can from all of them. The quickest way to examine everything is with the middle mouse button hotkey, which is another tip of mine. Learn hotkeys. Now, there are a lot and you can adjust them to your personal preference. But starting out, the most important ones, in my opinion, are middle mouse button for examining items. Control left click for putting things in and out of your inventory quickly. Alt left click for putting things on you quickly. And Alt T for checking your mag. Tarkov has no UI, so you have to keep track of this yourself. There are a lot of control slash hockeys on this game, but if you want to see them or personalize them, click the gears to the bottom right of the menu, then go to controls. You may have also noticed the quick use tab at the bottom of your inventory. And as you can see, these keys are how you pull out your weapons. But also you can use your pockets and your rig to assign other items. For example, medkits. Getting used to using these hotkeys early on will save you a lot of time and even save you in fights potentially. But you cannot assign these hotkeys if these items are in your backpack. With that knowledge, back to the first tip. Examine every single item from every trader. Doing this will save you time if you find these items in raids so you don't have to examine them in the raid. But most importantly, it gives you XP and it gets you to level 2. And that's important because it gives you more quests starting out. This leads to my next tip. Do your tasks slash quest. Trust me. Quests will help your progression tremendously. It'll also teach you the game and at some point even give you decent rewards. You can find these quests by going into the traders section. If traders have quests available for you, there will be a green check mark on their picture. Accept any quest you can. It might seem like a hassle or a chore, but in the end, it will be worth it, I promise. Having higher level traders gives you access to more equipment and it saves you money. Some traders won't give you quests until you reach a certain level, so keep looking out for those green check marks from the traders. Now, this is a tip within a tip. Do not prioritize singular quests. Always try to group them together. Now, this may not be possible all the time, but you really want to have that mentality of trying to do multiple at once. If you have, you know, putting the lunch boxes away on woods and killing scavs on woods while being naked and having no body armor, do those at the same time. Or if you need to find Salewas, look for those at the same time. Completing multiple quests at once or trying to will skyrocket your progress. It'll help you so much. A lot of these quests will involve looking for items too, so look for them early on even if you don't have the quest. And of course, not everyone knows what to look for, especially starting out. So I will be linking the wiki down below. It will show you every single item you'll need for your quest. 
And speaking about items you need to look for, this leads up to my next tip. Do scav runs. They are so helpful for newer players or even experienced players just making money. Now, you might have already heard people making fun of them saying, oh, scav runs suck or they don't give you XP. That's not what they're for. They're essentially free raids. You get a free kit. It might not be great. It might be okay, but it's a free kit, a free gun. And it is great for learning the game and also great for making money because you don't lose anything if you die. I cannot emphasize scavrons enough. They are amazing for newer players. I promise they will help you learn the game, help you learn how to loot, help you learn PVP, help you learn maps. And even if you die, you lose nothing. Nothing from your stash goes away. Use them as much as you can. And then during them, you know, look out for those items. Look out for those quest items. Look out for good loot. On top of looting, you can learn where extracts are. Just playing your scab. If you die, if you get, you know, become missing because you can't extract within the, the time of the raid, it doesn't matter because it's a free kit. Or if you fight players and you die to them or you kill them, it helps you with PVP experience. You learn how to PVP, how to become a better player. It will help you early on. Now, speaking of PVP, leading into my next tip, you might notice sometimes that you shoot a guy in the head eight times and he's still running around and just kills you and you're just like, what? That's because most of the time in Tarkov, it is all about the ammo, not the gun itself. You might have a really nice weapon that has really bad ammo, so it will struggle, but you could have a really bad looking weapon with really good ammo and it will do work. Of course, it's a lot easier said than done learning ammo and trying to obtain that ammo throughout the game. But for a starting point, ammos have different stats. Some have higher damage, some have higher pen. Typically, better ammos have higher pen. Now, I emphasize typically because not all high pen ammos are actually that good to use because of how little flesh damage they have. Luckily, there are charts that help with learning the values of the ammo. On the screen right now is the chart I personally use, EFT Monster, and it's great because not only does it show you the individual stats of the ammo, like this, but also it gives you a visual comparison with all of the ammo. I'll be putting a link for this site down below. I would definitely recommend checking it out. Even after thousands of hours of playing Tarkov, I still use it. Of course, starting out, you won't have access to a lot of the good ammo. But a starter gun slash ammo recommendation I have is the SKS from Prapper Level 1 with PS ammo. It does 57 flush damage and 32 pen. It is easily one of the best types of ammo you can use starting out in this game. My next tip is a bit broad. Starting out, you don't want to spam factory. That is exactly what I did because it was the quickest PVP map and the extracts were super easy. Don't get me wrong, I love that map. But starting out, spamming it is not a good way to learn the game. Learn other maps first. And a lot of people ask me, what map should I learn in order? Personally, I think you should let quests help you with that. So starting out, customs and woods will be your big ones. And it might be very confusing at first learning other maps. But you have tools that will help you learn them. For starters, scavrons. Do your scav runs on maps you're trying to learn. You will have different extracts, of course, but it will help you learn the map. Another thing you can do is play offline raids. It might not be fun because it's no PVP and there's nothing going on and you're not going to get any of the loot, but it helps you learn. That knowledge will help you and get you loot later on. Like I said, you don't get any loot, but you don't lose any either. The kit you bring in will not be lost if you die or can't find the extract or have to disconnect. And to get even more practice and knowledge while you're at it, turn on AI. It'll simulate the scavs that you have to deal with in normal raids. While doing either scav or offline raids, make sure you pull up a map on your second monitor or on your phone if you don't have a second monitor. And if you don't have either, I would recommend watching guides on maps or recommend watching streamers who know those maps. And it might be really tedious at first, but the game is escape from Tarkov. You want to escape these raids. You want to survive. And a map tool I would recommend is mapgenie.io. 
Map Genie is great because not only does it show you the entire map, but it also shows you where the loot is, where enemies can spawn, where your extractions are, and you can filter out things you don't want to see. For example, I could filter out the loose loot. Or filter out everything except for extracts. I'll be linking it down below as well as the map section on the Tarkov wiki. Now that we talked about maps and getting established, my next tip is about helping with that establishment, how you should loot. And that tip is loot based on the slot value, not the item value. So you may be asking, well, what does that mean? What I mean by that is take these uh, items, for example, you have a motor, a book, and a broken LCD compared to an AK, a folded AK that looks decent. Which one would you grab? When I started out, I would easily grab the AK. It's a gun. I thought that'd be the best choice, right? You know, I want, I want a nice looking AK, but what if I told you you're better off most of the time grabbing these items because whenever you got to sell them, look at this 44 K. Now you may not grab the AK to sell it, right? But it's 44 K for this AK. Well, if you go to therapist and sell these items, you're making 80 K and this isn't even including flea market prices but you're almost doubling your value by grabbing these random items. If I did include the flea market value, it would make this even better because the motor itself is 65K on the market right now, which is approximately 16K per slot because the motor is four slots. While the AK, since it's 44K for eight slots, would be about 5.5K per slot. Now you could make the argument that you'd actually use the AK and it might make you money, which is true. You might use the AK and it might make you money, but this is a general rule you should always have in your head for looting. It will take time to learn what items are valuable and what items aren't. And it will even change sometimes with how the flea market works. But the more you play, the more you'll learn what you should grab and what you typically shouldn't. So those are the top eight things I wish I knew when I started Escape from Tarkov. If you guys enjoyed this video and you want to support the channel, be sure to comment, like, subscribe, even use the bell if you want to. I do plan on making a lot more videos on this channel. Also, if you have any more tips or information that you recommend for newer players, be sure to put them down in the comments as well. And if you have any questions or want to see this gameplay live, I stream on Twitch every day except for Fridays. The link will be down below. I hope all of your raids go well and I'll see you guys next time.